A top story, young school children are among the victims of a mass stabbing in Japan. At least one child has been killed and 16 others were injured in the attack in Kawasaki, close to Tokyo. The suspect is also dead. Wayne Hay joins us live now from Kawasaki. Wayne, what else do we know? Peter, yes, this uh, attack took place at uh, around 7.45 in the morning, Tuesday morning, in a suburb of uh, Kawasaki, just outside the capital, Tokyo. Usually this part of uh, Kawasaki City, fairly sleepy, but of course at that hour of the day would have been busy in this particular area with people commuting to work, going to school. Uh, just a few metres down the road from where we are standing is a train station, would have been a busy area because of that, and also a bus stop where where uh, children were waiting to go to school. And it seems uh, that that is uh, where most of the people were attacked. Most of them, it seems, were school children waiting to get on a bus, going to a particular school in the area, a private Catholic school. And at that time of the day, Peter, we are told that the uh, children lining up for that particular bus were, for the most part, grade one students. So we're talking about uh, students aged uh, between six and and seven years old. Uh, hospitals are saying that the people they are treating for the most part are school children as well. As you mentioned, uh, the attacker is now confirmed dead. We believe he is a man aged in his 40s uh, or 50s. Uh, believed to be operating on his own. We don't know what the motive was, but eyewitness accounts say that he was brandishing two knives uh, when he staged this attack just a few metres down the road behind me. And it seems on first reading, Wayne, to be a particularly quiet area at a quiet time of day. Yes, I mean, usually this is a fairly uh, sleepy part of Kawasaki City. We're certainly not in the heart of the city. As I say, it's just outside the capital, Tokyo. At that hour of the day, it would have been slightly busier because people going to work, as I say, a train station down there, a bus stop as well, people uh, going uh, to school. It will shock this neighbourhood, no doubt. In fact, it will shock the entire country. Of course, this country is not immune to this type of attack happening. We have seen this sort of thing happening over the years in Japan, but it is regarded as one of the safest countries in the world with one of the lowest murder rates. So there's no doubt that uh, this attack, particularly uh, as it appears involving mainly school children, will certainly hurt Japan. Wayne, thanks very much.